Welcome back, beautiful family. Today, I want to share with you a very delicious confetti bun cake. Copycat of nothing bun cake that I know you guys are growing to really love it. It comes out fluffy, tender, and moist. But first things first, my apron is on, my hands are clean, and I am ready to show you my ingredients. this delicious and amazing copycat nothing bun cake these are the ingredients I have baking powder salt sprinkles milk eggs vegetable oil butter all-purpose flour granulated sugar vanilla extract and of course the non-stick baking cream these are the ingredients for this amazing bun cake. So let's get started. I want to start here first with the unsalted butter. Remember that all your ingredients need to be at room temperature. I'm adding the granulated sugar, the pinch of salt. I'm going to add the vanilla extract and the vegetable oil. I am going to go ahead and mix it really good, incorporate it very good until it's nice and creamy and fluffy. And this really doesn't take too long, okay? We're just gonna whisk it really good. Once everything is incorporated, we are going to continue by adding the four eggs that are at room temperature. We're gonna whisk it in. We're gonna incorporate it really good. And once it is incorporated, we are going to add the room temperature milk. Let's incorporate the milk. These are the liquid, all the liquid ingredients. And once everything is incorporated, we're going to sift in the all-purpose flour. And of course, I am going to sift it. I'm going to sift the all-purpose flour and the baking powder. And let's just whisk it until it's incorporated completely look at this okay let's mix it really good this delicious confetti bun cake comes out amazing and like i said once you make this delicious and amazing nothing bun cake you are going to continue making it the frosting is amazing look at this i added the sprinkles and always remember to preheat your oven to 350 Fahrenheit because once it goes in there, it's going to come out amazing. I have my baking dish here and of course I have my non-stick baking cream that you already have on my channel. Make this amazing non-stick baking cream. Your breads are going to come out delicious and amazing and nothing is going to stick to the baking dish okay now i'm ready to pour the mixture this looks amazing and the aroma of the vanilla extract just invaded my kitchen look at this we're going to go ahead and tap it a little bit to get the bubbles of air out and then we are ready to take it to the oven the oven has been preheated and it's gonna go in the oven for about 45 minutes remember every oven is different so here i'm gonna go ahead and put it in here and then i'll show you when i am ready to take it out and show you how fluffy it looks 45 minutes have passed and now i'm ready to reveal how this looks look at this of course i'm gonna put a little stick if it comes out clean that means it's cooked completely and now let's reveal how this cake is going to come out this amazing confetti bun cake look at this it's still nice and hot but i like to remove it like this and look how 
perfect. How amazing it came out. It's still really nice and hot, but let me show you from close up. There is no need to add butter, all purpose flour to your baking dish when you could just make it with a nonstick baking cream that you already have on my channel and your cakes and your goods are going to come out amazing and perfect. Okay, I'm gonna let it rest so that it comes to room temperature and let's make the delicious and amazing cream cheese frosting. Like I said, this is a copycat. Once you make it, you are going to continue making this amazing nothing bun cake at home. I have the cream cheese here at room temperature. I'm adding vanilla extract. I'm going to go ahead and mix it completely, get it nice and soft, fluffy. And now I'm ready to add the unsalted butter. Mix it, get it nice and fluffy. And then I'm ready to add the, con the powder sugar and this really doesn't take too long, but this cream cheese frosting comes out amazing. It really makes a difference. I know that once you make it, you're going to continue enjoying this amazing frosting. And now I'm ready to go ahead, add it to my little baggie. And it has been room temperature for about an hour, and now I'm ready for the decoration look at this this looks amazing my kitchen really is invaded with these amazing aromas and now i am ready to decorate if you loved and liked this recipe please leave me a thumbs up share this video subscribe so that you enjoy all my delicious recipes but now let's reveal how it's going to look from the inside it's really fluffy and I just can't wait to dig in and enjoy it. Look how amazing it looks from the inside. Like I always say, this is the part I really love and enjoy. Enjoying my homemade baking treats for my family. Nice and soft and I am ready for the presentation. I can't wait to enjoy it. So I'll see you in just a little bit. Look how fluffy and tender it is. And the frosting, well, like I say, perfection made at home. See you in a bit. My friends, I am completely done with this amazing and delicious copycat of nothing bun cake. Look at this. It looks amazing and it's really fluffy from the inside. Like I always say, when you bake with love, everything comes out perfect. But this is the part I really love and enjoy, tasting my recipes. I wish you guys were here to taste it with me. Excuse me. Mmm, mmm, it's really fluffy. You can really see all the confetti in between the bread. Like I always say, bacon. If I could make it at home, of course that you can make it at home. I hope my friends, you give it a try and you make this copycat. Nothing but bun cake. They come out delicious, amazing, and of course, the frosting, perfection made at home. If you liked and loved my recipe, I invite you to subscribe, leave me a thumbs up, share this video on social media with your friends, with your relatives, so Cooking with Gloria keeps growing. Don't forget to push that notification bell, and if you did, leave it activated so every time I make an amazing recipe like I did today, yes, you're going to be notified. Before I say I see you soon, I wish you nothing but the best. Peace and love. 
I love you guys. Thank you for being here. Thank you for being part of Cooking with Gloria. Like, subscribe, and share, and see you on my next amazing recipe. Bye-bye.